Hello there, everybody. What Culture Wrestling's Adam Cleary here, joined by What Culture Wrestling's Adam Wilborn. And yes, this is the video because every once in a while you wake up to a new story in professional wrestling that feels like it's probably going to change everything. Now, sometimes these are good stories like AEW forming, NXT moving to television, Daniel Bryan coming out of retirement, things like that. But every once in a while, they are categorically not. And over the past 24 hours, hundreds, literally hundreds of women at all levels of the industry have come forward with stories about times they were harassed, emotionally and physically abused, or in some cases, even assaulted by men in the industry. Now, this started yesterday when several accusations by some of David Starr's former partners led to him issuing a statement saying that while he denied accusations of sexual predatory, he realized he had made a lot of mistakes in his personal life and was going to be taking some time away. He was then promptly stripped of several championships including OTT, Southside, TNT, things like that. But since then, it has snowballed. WWE wrestler Piper Niven tweeted something to the effect of, we're all just waiting for somebody else to go first. And since then, again, hundreds, literally hundreds of accounts of abuse in all forms have been made. Now, this ranges from women who attend shows at fans, women who've been trainees at schools, women who've wrestled for a short amount of time, women who've wrestled for a long amount of time, everybody in the industry, and relates to men who, again, are at all levels of this. Men who attend the shows, men who work at training schools, men who perform, men who book, everything. And since then, it has snowballed and snowballed and snowballed to now not just include Brit Rest, which is where the whole story started, but now across the Atlantic to promotions of all sizes. Now, Adam Wilborn, there's been a statement by WWE made about this, I think. Yes, regarding the allegations towards uh, current NXT Cruiserweight champion uh, Jordan Devlin, uh, there was allegations, people sharing photos of bruised body parts, allegations that he'd physically assaulted uh, a woman. In a response given to Forbes, WWE said, we take any allegations of this nature very seriously and are looking into the matter. It's, uh, it's really shocking, obviously, all this, but also the sort of depressing similarity of all these stories is, is one of the things that's really hit me here, Cleary. Yeah, it's it's difficult to report on this completely objectively because it's such a highly charged issue and it's something which invokes a lot of emotion, but this does feel like it might be one of the most necessary and certainly one of the bravest things to happen in pro wrestling for a very long time. A lot of these women have spoke about these incidents being years old and they're not feeling that there's either the platform or the audience there to speak out about this and indeed some have got examples of times where they have in the past simply not being listened to, being shouted down or being effectively kicked out of the entire industry. So it's going to be a challenging, harrowing, really, really tough next few days as more and more of these stories do come out and more women do find the strength to be able to tell their side of it. But for now, um, there's not really much more we can say. A lot of the allegations apparently encompassing over 100 people in the industry are still just that. Uh, allegations and until responses are made or more can be um, asserted on this there's not really much more we can say but just one final thing uh, we would like to say is if you are sitting on a story like this and you don't currently feel that you can come forward with it that's that's not a failing uh, that's that's not a weakness this this is tough this is personal and people have to do what they feel is right by them but we just want to say to everybody who is coming forward with these stories your bravery is seen and it is noted and you are hopefully changing things for an entire future generation of female talent yeah exactly we've seen it just sort of be a catalyst for so many people as you say coming forward and you mentioned you know hashtag speaking out the hashtag they're using was trending british wrestling brit rest uh, as you mentioned and it encompasses all areas of this industry is saddening but it's also heartening that you as you mentioned people collectively have decided to tell their story. But as you say, if you don't feel up to telling the story right now, there's, there's no shame in that whatsoever. Yep, so that's all we've got on this for the moment. Obviously, more will come out, I'm sure, over the next couple of days. Um, yeah, I'm not going to tell you. Let us know what you make of this all in the comments. Head to Twitter, find the Speaking Out hashtag, read it for yourself. Um, be gentle, be kind, be understanding, all the things like that. And we will see you soon.